Welcome to video 11. We'll be looking at DCI summary tables. Let's first examine the setup that we currently have. If we look at the HP switches that we have, we can easily graph and see the historical data for all of the DCIs. But what if we actually want to see the software version of every single switch? You can see I have this as a DCI. So if I had 20 switches here, it would be really impractical to go and click on every single one and actually look at proper DCI for software version. This is one of the example problems that summary tables actually solve. Another example would be the input voltage. If I go into one of my router OS devices, for example our IPsec concentrator here, and I will filter only for the health DCIs, you can see I'm collecting a lot of health statistics for this device, but since I have about 15 router OS devices here, what if I just want to see the last input voltage or power consumption for every single device? Again, this is an example problem of what DCI summary tables solve. So first let's look at how DCI summary tables look when they are fully configured, and then we will go into the configuration. You can select any top-level container to run summary DCIs from. If you select the more specific container, the summary tables will only be generated for the nodes within that container. So I am actually going to select my whole infrastructure services where I have all of my nodes, and I'm going to go to summary tables, versions, and I have a summary DCI table here for the HP switches. And you can see that it automatically shows me only the nodes which actually have this DCI, and I can see all of the versions in a table. So right here I know that I need to upgrade four of my switches because they are not on the latest firmware. Let's look at the Microtig Health statistics. So if I go into Microtig and Health, you can see I have a more complicated table which actually shows me health, all of the available health information, and if some nodes don't provide those health information over SMP, I will not see those. So how do we configure the DCI summary tables? If we go into Configuration, DCI Summary Tables, you can see that I have a lot of summary tables already configured. This is just to show you that the same structuring mechanism as in graphs can be used in DCI Summary Tables. So separating tables into logical structures using the arrow. So let's configure a summary DCI for the HP version from scratch. Let's do a create new table. And you can see we have a few sections here. In general, first we have menu path, which specify where the summary table is located inside of the DCI summary tables menu. So this one, let's just do test. And then a title, which is just a description where the DCI summary tables is showing as a tab in the upper tab menu. And then we have the columns menu. This is where you actually define what you see inside of the summary table. If we add a column, we need a name. In our example, it's going to be the software version. And then a DCI name. And you can use a regular expression. Please remember that the DCI name is actually the OID. If I just do OK here, and I go into the DCI configuration for the switches, and I select the software version DCI, you can see that what you would consider name is actually description, and the parameter is the name. So I will copy the parameter, go back into the DCI summary table, and add this into my DCI name. I could also filter specific nodes using NetXMS scripts, but that is for an advanced video. So if I do OK here, and if I apply the summary table test that I've just created to my entire infrastructure services, you can see that I get the expected result.